Hello everyone and welcome to On The Spot STEM. Today we will be tackling the second gold problem from the 2019 Yusuko Open. Now this problem reads that we have n cows with n bounded by 7,500. And we want to split them into k groups such that no two cows from two different groups can interact with each other without walking some number of miles. And the miles that cow x and y walk are this large number times x plus this large number times y mod this large number to see each other. So now we want to find the minimum number of miles that any two cows in two different groups are willing to walk to see each other, and we want to make m as large as possible. Now all of this info is really confusing, so let's try breaking it, this problem down, starting from the equation we're given. Now, if you know some useful modular properties, this equation looks like it can be simplified a little further, because these numbers are quite big, but we also notice that they're quite close to the number we're taking at modulo. So instead of writing it as a positive number times x, we can write it as it's congruent to whatever 2019, 2019, 97 minus these are. And this actually ends up being negative 84x, minus 48y. And we want to take this mod 2019, 2019, 97. And obviously this number would be negative, but since it's a modulo and we want it to be positive, we just take 2019, 2019, 97 and subtract it. So this ends up being our expression. And just as a quick check, we can test to see whether this equation will ever go negative. Because if it goes negative, then we'll have to increase it by another 2019, 2019, 97. And that will make it a little more complicated. But we see that since n is only less than 7,500, then x and y have to be less than 70,500 as well. And this equation will never be negative given those bounds. Okay, so now we've simplified the number of miles that two cows will walk to see each other. But how does this help us? So if we consider the problem as the bigger picture, essentially the way that we maximize the minimum of n is that we put all the cows that will walk the least amount of miles to see each other in the same group. So that way the cows that have to walk the most amount to see each other are in different groups and therefore we maximize m. So if we look at this equation that we have now, how would this be minimized? Because we want to put the cows that make this equation minimized in the same group. And we see that as x and y are larger, this equation becomes smaller. And as x and y are smaller, this equation is maximized. Now, this may seem simple as first, but it's actually groundbreaking for this problem. Because what this means is that we put all the biggest cows in one group, and then we try to spread out the smaller cows across the other groups. In fact, if we want to consider just the simplest way of actually organizing this, just so you guys can visualize it, it's the same as we put the first cow in the first group, the second cow in the second group, the third cow in the third group, all the way until we put the kth cow in the kth group. And then what do we do with all those biggest cows? Well, we just put all the cows that are greater than k into here. So in fact, in the last bin, we'll not just have the kth cow, but we'll have the k through nth cow. So essentially, if we're given this way of organizing it, then m will be as large as possible. And now we want to find out what the minimum value of m in this optimized situation will be. Well, clearly it's not going to be between the smaller cows. It's probably going to have something to do with the largest cow. If we look at the largest ID cow that are in different groups, we see that the nth cow is the largest one in the biggest group. And then the next largest cow will be the k minus 1th cow. So why does this help us? Because if these are the two cows that provide the minimum value of m 
in this optimized situation, then all we have to do is plug this into our equation. And we see that just output the value that that gives us. So if we want to write down the equation down below with the variables plugged in, what this ends up becoming is 2019, 2019, 97 minus 84 times K minus 1. Because that is the value of X. And then we also subtract out 48 times N. Because that's the value that we found out is going to yield the smallest m in this optimized situation. So now all we have to do is output this formula. This seems quite simple. So let's just look at a quick coding implementation of this problem. So I stored the number 2019, 2019, 97 into a value num because I didn't want to have to type it out each time. But this isn't necessary. So from our equation, we got that it's going to be equal to num minus 84 times k minus 1 minus 48 times n. And then as in every problem, we close the print writer. Wow, this code feels way too short to work, but we've checked it out and everything. So let's just try submitting it right away. Let's try it. As you can see, we get full credit on this code, on this problem, with simply 26 lines of code. That's crazy if you ask me.